If you're new here, we're Charlene, Chris and Holly and we've been living and travelling in our motorhome for the past two years. We're currently on the Isle of Skye and have just now started to really fall in love with this place and all it has to offer. In today's video we continue to explore this beautiful part of the world and you join us for some amazing kayaking and even a bit of wild swimming. Unfortunately not all is perfect as we now have a new van problem to think about. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video from the Isle of Skye. As you can see, we've got grey skies today. We've got the hoodies back out again. We've actually made it now along the east of this peninsula. Our first stop for today is Lilt Waterfall. There's a lot of these stops along the way here where a lot of tourists come and some just to snap a photo or to get a glimpse of the view. This is actually quite cool here because we've got a waterfall flowing down from underneath the road and it goes through the gorge and out to the sea here. And there's also a beach down there. So we've had a bit of a nightmare this morning already because our gas ran out, our spare gas bottle was empty and then the LPG just finished. Uh, so we had to drive all the way out of sky because there was no LPG uh, fuel stations on the island apart from that one. So a word of advice, if you are coming to Isle of Skye, don't do like I did and make sure you fill up on your LPG so you don't have to drive all the way back out. So we had to drive for about two hours today, one hour out and one hour back in. And to make things worse, it was actually quite sunny this morning and now it's gone all cloudy. So <laughs> everything seems to be going wrong. So we've continued a couple of miles further north and we're hiking towards this place. It's called Brothers Point, if you're ever here and you want to check it out. And it is a bit more remote as well. We've only seen two other people and it's kind of a bit more of our style. <laughs> oh my god you know that i really love the sea but this place here it stinks oh my goodness oh. it is it smells like drainage yeah. Okay. Yeah. Last bit to the top. Whew. It's very steep. We made it to the top. Oh! What a view! What a panoramic view! Very nice hike along the sea here, really beautiful. I don't think this place is very popular with tourists because it's empty. This island has really surprised us, like we said last week, much more touristy than we expected. But as well, it's got loads of magical spots like this. So the Isle of Skye here, especially the northern part uh, along the coast, has so much to offer. We're really enjoying it here and it's such a, like a diverse and unique landscape. Everything is green, we've got two cliffs bunch of sheep and it's very quiet as well so now for the next few days we're just going to be here along the eastern side of this peninsula uh, still pretty much north on the Isle of Skye there's so much to see I think on this side as well yeah we found that like we kind of enjoy the more ones where we're kind of on our own as well from the parking lot you can tell whether it's a tourist hotspot or not like for example here there were just two other cars so we parked up and started the hike the Sun is playing games with us today because now it's hidden and we can see a beautiful light on the sea out there <laughs> so it's sunny out there yeah it's teasing us where we left you last time i discovered after we left that spot oh, no! <laughs> quick catch what are you doing holly where we were last week there were dinosaur footprints and i didn't know about them can you hear the birds I love that sound. It's actually got really cold, so we're going to start heading back to the van. <laughs> we're going, we're going. <laughs> Stayed on that rock. Look at her, she's still there. <laughs> 
protecting her, protecting her land. All right, shut up. Now we need to go all the way up there to get back to Tandy. Oh, it stinks. Oh my God. Again, this spot. This is where the smell is. Ugh. This way. Keep going, come on. We came from here, right? Oh, oh shit, she's coming, she's back, fuck. <laughs> okay. She's not messing about this one. No. <laughs> Leave us alone, we're going home. <laughs> she's coming. Oh my God. Whoa, look at oh. his foot. Steep climb Onwards and upwards. We need to go up there. Sorry to wake you up. Calm down, Heather. The clouds kind of make the day get shorter again. Definitely, dark. yes, it's getting oh, so dark. We can see a bit of sun like in the distance, so who knows? Originally, we wanted to see another waterfall. It's called Kiltrop Waterfall. It's just a waterfall that leads into the sea. And they're doing something like they're arranging the parking and it's yeah, closed. There's a lot of construction work going yeah. on. The whole parking area is We closed. can't really see it. You can't access it. One thing that I see very weird here are the churches because they're just a white building you know and there is nothing on them like there's they're not fancy and they're not the focal point of the village like in austria or in germany but yeah when you see a church you say oh it's a church because there's written like church of scotland only it's very bland mm -hmm. to the beach baby Wow. Oh my god. Maybe we can park here the first one. So we managed to get the final parking spot it looks like this afternoon here along the sea. Uh, very nice place here. It's very busy. You just need to kind of get in the spot as early as you can because we left it a bit late today and we got the last we one were back lucky. Yeah. <laughs> there was a parking lot just up the road as well but it was full there was like three vans or two vans in a car and there wasn't really any room and today we have to sleep early as well because tomorrow we're waking up for sunrise well, that's not 100 percent confirmed yet because sunrise here is about 3 a.m or 4 a.m so i don't know about that but we are gonna head up early and we've got two options really um there's this place kind of further north which is the querying and old manor store which is really beautiful and we want to head to one of those tomorrow before the crowds arrive at what time are we going to wake up tomorrow when the alarm goes off wake up <laughs> what's that no no six o'clock seven six huh six o'clock six yeah. okay so at six i'll be awake and you'll be awake yeah yeah we'll show you outside first and then we'll go and do some liar adventure. you're a liar no, no, you're not I'll going to wake up yeah i just need to sleep now like in the next hour if i sleep after midnight or one o'clock i'll never get up <laughs> no no editing tonight okay no late night editing no no not today pretty tired to be honest i could sleep yeah Good night. Good morning everyone. I slept really well last night and I woke up so energized. I'm so looking forward for this hike. I'm with Holly now and Chris is waking up slowly <laughs> but it's very early today it's an early morning for us there's this lovely beach here there's no one about anyway let's get back and start our day can you believe it guys he's still in bed 
Oh, come on, Chris, let's go. Come on, Chris, wake up, wake up. It's your beautiful morning. Okay, so now I need to fix my hair. I really love it when I wake up early in the morning. Let's go. I'm awake, I'm awake. Calm down, hold your horses. <laughs> Finally, finally. Yeah, a bit late. I was a bit tired, I will admit, but that kind of has to happen when you're at the end of a long road trip where you've been traveling a lot. It just kind of catches up and although you like you rest a day or two, sometimes it's just not enough. But we're up and hopefully we're still able to beat the crowds just by a bit. Let's see. Spots here where you can go and buy eggs, souvenirs, or snacks. Let me go and check what's in this one. Oh wow, <laughs> this is nice. Soft toys for kids, and some keychains here, and also Talisker Sky homemade Scottish tablet. I think I'm gonna get these. Milk, sugar, butter, whiskey. Very nice treat. Ooh, Very delicious. Tasty. Very tasty. Just emptied out my camera bag. Uh, we're going uphill, so just got a few spare batteries. One big lens. We imagined that we would be here around 6 a.m. It's actually quite funny though, because took me about an hour to get up and get ready and now we've arrived here we've paid for the parking and we've been here for about another half an hour had something quickly to eat I'm just telling Charlene it kind of feels like we don't want to do this hike <laughs> if we have a cup of tea now we'll yeah, yeah should we have a cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> no, no. like for one hour here now we have to work for it we'll have a cup of tea afterwards we actually just found a parking spot here this place does get busy quite fast do you know what I've got in my bag let's see what Charlene has in her bag. Look at all this food. <laughs> what are you eating? We haven't even started yet. I woke up hungry. So just a moment ago we could actually see the rocks, the old man of store rocks and it's basically further along this path here. How long is it? Another 40 minutes I think? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's not extremely difficult but it's not an easy walk over now the it's sun's coming climb. out yeah you're feeling it yeah <laughs> we're feeling hot already but we have to keep on going but as you go further up the views get better and better yeah we're just looking behind us now we can see an even better view of the islands in the opposite direction and there's a lake over here as well we've arrived at the end of the path and now the steps begin Shana's just add the snacks she hasn't stopped eating the whole hike I'm just seeing her hand in the bag, it's crunching away. It's a short hike, but it's really steep. So you need frequent breaks. Here we go. Not long to go now. There's quite a big variety of people here, from Europeans, Spanish, Italians, a lot of British as well, and also people from further away like America and Asia. Don't let the crowds put you off because it's such a large area that they do spread out. The car park was packed, but obviously there are a few people here, but now that we're walking, Everyone kind of spreads out. You definitely need a good pair of sturdy hiking shoes. We're halfway there. It's such a lovely view of the beautiful mountains up here. You can see them and already, the sea, yeah. And the islands and the lock. <laughs> a little bit of everything. It's so good to breathe the mountain air. Goes well with your cheese crackers, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can make it. Oh. The last bit is really, really hard. Oh. Oh, yeah. So 
So we've made it to the top and we've immediately sat down because that was a really steep climb towards the end. We're sitting here in front of the old man of Stor. This is over 2,000 million years of history here. It feels like we're in a movie. <laughs> yeah, they shot a few movies here, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I've seen one with the old man of Stor. Really? Yeah, yeah, there was a famous movie, I think, shot on the Isle of Skye. Oh. If you know it, let us know what it was called. We'll check it out. Was it James Bond? No. I don't but know. It's what another it is. big one though. They they filmed it here and in the queer ring. It's very dramatic. That's why I'm thinking like that, you know. Yeah, it's really a unique place. The jagged rocks are so impressive. They're everywhere and we're surrounded basically. You can easily spend a day here exploring a bit of here and there, but this is impressive for us. There is this mist that I really love. This is really my kind of vibe. I really love it here. We can still see the rocks, but it looks so mystical. It makes it more special, I think. I think on a sunny day, this place would be a bit different. So we didn't know whether we would head up to the querying or to the old man of store today but i'm so glad that we chose this one because it's really beautiful here we didn't head up to the querying because it's actually a mountain pass and we had a bit of an issue i'll tell you more about that later on what happened but chose this one because it's a bit more easily accessible and to be honest just as beautiful really really nice and glad that we came up here the weather as you know in scotland is always changing i got this thick jacket and I'm actually feeling a bit cold now as well. I can't believe that this is summer here. <laughs> so many people are coming now as well. We're also noticing that a lot of people are slipping. And I guess it's because they come with normal trainers. So if you do come up here, make sure to bring your hiking shoes. Um, I've got these Adidas Terex. Had them for the last two or three years. Absolutely amazing in all terrains. Again, I can't really state this enough, but this place is so stunning. <laughs> these rocks are a good 50, 60 meters tall here and it's kind of confusing and really weird it's like how did this place end up looking like this over here in this direction there is also like further paths where you can walk up to another lookout point i think you can see some people there on the top and this whole area is very very nice i've just seen a sign which says that you can't fly the drone um, I actually got some shots already from the parking lot before we started hiking up so if you've seen any drone shots that's where they're from but now that we're up here there's a sign for no drones so if you're heading up here don't bring your drone with you I ended up leaving it in the van anyway there are people climbing everywhere one here and I saw another one there <laughs> everyone wants to get the best shot well, there's someone up here as well this place is definitely a climber's paradise When you visit a huge place like this, you feel so tiny. Like, look at these rocks. They're huge, man. Can't even see the tips because they're covered in fog. What a wonderful effect of the clouds with these beautiful rocks. What makes these rocks very special are the formations. Some of them are pointy and some of them are so different that yeah, that's true. you don't get to see anywhere else, I think, in the world. If there wasn't a sea behind me, I would say this place resembles a lot Recime del Lavaredo, which is in Italy, a place which we've visited a couple of times. Really impressive place and one day we have to take you there with us and do a vlog there because I don't think we've ever filmed in Trecime. Um, yeah, but this is still kind of different here. It's got its own like mysterious look and as Charlie mentioned, the rock formations are like totally different from each other. Some are jagged, some are roundish. And like this one here in front of me looks like it's just gonna fall off any minute now. What do you think, Sha? You think it's gonna fall over? And roll down the hill. Looks like Torre de Pisa, a bit slanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as we were heading down from the old man of store, the sun started to come out and it really turned into a beautiful day. So we decided to stop beside this lake just down the road from where we were. Our tanks are full 
and this is the only way to do it. cold to get in but absolutely beautiful when you're in there that was so refreshing really needed that after a long hike this morning pretty nice park up to be honest just off of the main road and we've got like this whole area to ourselves Having fun, aren't you? Yeah, so much fun. <laughs> Wild swimming by the old man of store. Got this little beach on the lake all to ourselves. I'm slipping everywhere. Hello, honey. Ooh, we're all clean now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice shower. Oh my god. It was. Oh, what a good girl! I'm doing a bagel with avocado and sweet potatoes. Yeah. Yummy, yummy! The lake has made us even more hungrier than we were before. <laughs> that was a lovely swim. Lovely hike and lovely swim. Yeah, what a perfect day, huh? We were supposed to go down back to the lake to eat, but it's just so good. <laughs> I'm so hungry. It's got avocado, sweet potato, cheese and tomato. Just right. Someone's had a busy day. So it's quite insane really to be able to park up here and have the beach all to ourselves. Really, really enjoyed it. And when we kind of find a spot like this, we kind of try and make the most of it, you know? I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we also wanted to visit Kurang National Park, which is further north. Very beautiful spot. Now, the reason why we didn't go is because yesterday, for the first time, I had this like error message come up on the dashboard. Um, error light, sorry. Um, I think it's the brake pads, which means that they're on the way out. And to be honest, to get up to Kurang, it's actually on a mountain pass from what we saw. So I don't know if that's right, but we didn't want to risk it. So we just kind of decided to stick to the main road for now until we get that sorted. I guess it ha they have like a few hundred miles left. We don't want to press them as much as possible. So we just decided to avoid the mountain pass completely. And we just went to the old manor store. Even in the next week or two, we're going to try and like avoid mountainous areas just so we can kind of um, get down south and get the brakes fixed. We're gonna do a bit of homework now and try and book an appointment somewhere on our way down But for now, we just kind of wanted to make sure that we could enjoy our last few days here on the Isle of Skye um, Without any problems at all. So based on what we've seen so far We definitely need to come back because there's a few spots that we do need to get to uh, Maybe just not in peak season and we'll try and come at a different time of the year next time so that we have a bit more flexibility in regards to parking spots and stuff like that but I'll tell you what, today was amazing. This spot here is really, really nice. I don't think we're going to sleep here. We want to go and visit one of the nice towns here down the road. It's called Portree. Very, very beautiful. And I think we're going to end the day there. If you're coming with your van, there's actually a free chemical toilet disposal and water station just here at the old man of store. So we just go in there now and we're going to go and sort that out. The problem is during the day because there's so many vans hard to kind of park in front of it I think there's a space now so it should be good look at this space now <laughs> what a difference this morning right it's just in here this building here this one here yeah. We've got two chemical toilet disposals Make sure to use this one near the old man of store because there's one further up in Portree, further south, sorry, and that one you have to pay for. Uh, but this one's totally free. Break 
flight is off again now. I think it's just overheating during the day when it's a bit hot. So we're just going to stick to the main roads for now until we find someone who can fix it for us. Maybe in mainland Scotland. Just stopped off at Portree. Really nice parking spots here. Loads of space down by the sea and it's so picturesque. It says no overnight parking. We're actually going to stay here but I don't think we can now. So just stopped off here. I'm going to go and check out this nice viewpoint. As we were passing by with the van we could see these colourful houses and we're just going to go and check them out now. I made it to this viewpoint here in front of me I can see all these colourful houses. Uh, for some reason it seems like I've transported from Scotland to the coast of Italy. There's a few boats in the sea and just the last bit of light here on the houses in the church on top. Just a lot of midges flying everywhere though. So this is the parking area that we're at and there's a whole space here for camper vans. We're a bit confused because on Park for Night some people mentioned that they did sleep here and others mentioned do not sleep here because you get a fine. So I don't think we're going to risk it but it's pretty beautiful here. They've got this whole front here and this is actually the sea. Wow, this is so good. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. So delicious. After a hike and a swim, this is what we need, some sugar. Now we're going to be drunk with all the whiskey. This has got whiskey in it as well. <laughs> There's only a small packet. I don't know how she learned them. We only taught her like three or four moves. <laughs> These are all spontaneous party tricks. You had too much fun today, didn't you? You had too much fun, didn't you? Who's been a good girl? Falling asleep? Should we go on an adventure? No? I think that's enough for Holly for, t for one day, innit? Yeah, we managed to keep them out at least. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're small. Yeah, they are a nuisance. I got bitten twice last week or the week before. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's leaving because of the midges. They're like that annoying friend that makes everyone want to leave. <laughs> it was packed here, like they're just gone now. Everyone's gone, it's just us. That's free. Even honey, look at her. <laughs> and I will say, like when we arrived here last week, we had a bit of a shock, and um, it wasn't what we exactly expected. But I've really, really enjoyed it here on the Isle of Skye. Sad to leave now, but yeah. we're going to head to Scotland tomorrow, back to the mainland, and there's a lot more to get up to there before we start heading south. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new. And, and we'll see you in the next, in the next one. one. Bye. Ciao, ciao.